Hello there, this is a quick video to help you interpret the results for your selective and differential media. So there are three different media that I'm going to discuss. They are the mannitol salt auger, the McConkie auger, and the eosine methylene blue EMB plates. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the mannitol salt auger. There are two different bits of information that you can get from this one media. So the first is called a salt tolerance test. And what you're looking for here is whether or not your bacteria grow. So over on the right, this is three different bacteria that have been put onto half of a mannitol salt auger plate. And hopefully what you can see is this first uh, half of plate, the bacteria, you can see the area where they were placed, but they're not growing. Whereas in this uh, other two halves, there is growth. And so what this is doing is uh, there's a high amount of salt in this media. And so if there's growth, what you can conclude is bacteria can grow in a high salt environment. And if there's no growth, the bacteria cannot grow in that high salt env environment. So this is known as a salt tolerance test because you're asking the question, can a given bacteria tolerate a large, a high salt concentration or not? If you remember this type of media where we're looking for growth or no growth is called selective media. Now, hopefully you can already notice that there is different colors that we can see as well. And so if the bacteria grows, which you can see in these two plates, these bacteria grown, um, you can also ask the question, if the media turns yellow or if the media stays a reddish pink color. And so if the media turns yellow, then what that means is the bacteria can ferment the sugar mannitol that's found in the media. So that's why it's called the mannitol salt auger plate. So this bacteria, not only does it grow and tolerate salt, but it ferments lactose. I'm sorry, ferments mannitol. And then this bacteria, it does grow, so it can tolerate salt, but it does not ferment the sugar mannitol. So that's one of the plates that you guys have to evaluate. So you're gonna look at two things. Does your bacteria grow or not grow? If it does grow, does the media turn yellow or does it stay red? The next media is the McConkie auger. So this too has uh, two things that you're going to look for. And again, it's a selective as well as a differential media. And so again, selective media means that um, some bacteria will grow on this particular media and others will not. So these are three McConkie auger plates. And on the top one, the bacteria that was streaked onto it does not grow. But hopefully on these two bottom, you can see that there is indeed growth illustrated by colonies that are growing at different areas of that plate. So again, um, since we're looking for patterns in growth or no growth, this is a selective media. And so now what we want to know is what type of bacteria grow. So if the bacteria grows, what you can conclude is the bacteria are gram negative bacteria. And if there's no growth, if the bacteria are inhibited, that means the bacteria are gram positive. So going back to these three plates, because there's no growth on this plate, what we could conclude is the bacteria that was placed onto it is a gram-positive bacteria. And because there's growth on these two plates, both of the bacteria here are gram-negative bacteria. Now also, when looking at the two bacteria that have grown, the two bacterial plates that have grown, hopefully you can see that there are different colors. So color change reactions we call differential media. And in this particular case, if the bacteria or the media turn a hot pink color, then what we can conclude is the bacteria ferment the sugar lactose. If the media or bacteria do not turn hot pink, then the bacteria do not ferment the sugar lactose. So on these two plates, there's two things that we can see. There is growth on both plates. That means the bacteria is gram negative. This gram negative bacteria cannot ferment lactose because it didn't turn hot pink. This gram-negative bacteria can ferment the sugar lactose because it did turn the media hot pink. So those are the two things that you'll look at for the McConkie auger. 
And the eosine methylene blue, um, it also is selective in the exact same way as the McConkie. And what I mean by that is gram-negative bacteria should grow on this plate where gram-positive bacteria will not. So over here, there are three different bacteria. And so again, on the top plate, there's no growth. And on the bottom two plates, there is bacteria growing. And so that would tell us that this top plate had a gram-positive bacteria streaked onto it and it failed to grow because there are inhibitors in that plate. Whereas the gram-negative bacteria placed on the bottom two plates, um, they were able to grow. The other thing that you can see with an eosine methylene blue or EMB plate is that lactose fermenters are going to cause a color change as well. Now there's kind of two ranges of colors that you can see. There is kind of a dark blue purple. Uh, that is a positive result. That means that the bacteria ferment, can ferment lactose. But one other way that you can get a positive result is you get this metallic sheen. And so um, either of those two results would be positive and the conclusion would be the bacteria can ferment lactose. If the bacteria grows, but you don't have either of these two colors, so the bacteria are pale or colorless, then what that would mean is the bacteria do not ferment lactose. So when you're looking at your plates, um, you will want to look at two things. Does the bacteria grow or not grow? And also make the connection as to what that means. If a bacteria grows or doesn't grow, it tells you something. So for example, in this uh, EMB plate, if it grows, the bacteria are gram negative. If it doesn't grow, the bacteria are gram positive. And then if there is growth there on all of the plates, there's a differential reaction with some color change. And so any color that you see, you should be able to um, visualize what the color is and then also connect that color to a conclusion as to what it tells you back about the bacteria. So for example, in this case, if you saw this metallic green, then what you would conclude is the bacteria do ferment the sugar lactose.